ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವುನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರೆ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರಣ್ಯ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನಮಿಷ್ಟುದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರ್ಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷುವರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಯಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯುಥಾಕ್ಷ ಮೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಂ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ ನಿಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ ಭಗವತೀಯ ಕಿಂಚನ ಸರ್ವಗುಣೈಸ್ತೋ ಕ್ಷಮಾ ಸತೀಸುರ 
हरो वा भक्त सुकुतो महोद गुना मनोरथी न असतो धबतो गई जास्यास्ति भक्ति र भगवती अकिंचना सर्वगुण इस्तत्र क्षमा सती सुराह हरो अभक्त सुकुतो महोद गुना मनोरथी न असतो धबतो गई गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंत्र जगतगुरु टोल्ड बाय पर्सनल एफर्ट बद्धजीव कैन नेवर अरेंज एब्सुलूट मंगल इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर बॉन्डेड सोल टू अरेंज एब्सुलूट मंगल इन इज ओन लाइफ बाय पर्सनल एफर्ट गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड बॉन्डेड सोल इन द नेम ऑफ मंगल ही इज ट्राइंग टू अरेंज मंगल इज ओन लाइफ बट गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय हिज ओन लाइफ ही वॉन्ट टू अरेंज मंगल इन इज ओन लाइफ बट इन द नेम ऑफ मंगल इज गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय हिज ओल्ड लाइफ ओल्ड लाइफ दैट इज द स्टेटस ऑफ बॉन्डेड सोल to understand o guru vishnu bhagwan dham nam anything pertaining to that aprakita jagat first of all we must go out of anartha because with material mind material conception with enjoying mood i cannot see a vishnu it is not possible with enjoying mood with all anartha inside heart i cannot understand realize a sadhu not possible that's why in chaitanya chaitamiti routine aprakito vastu ko bu prakito ko chan noy aprakito vastu i cannot feel i cannot understand by the application of my sense organ and mind it is not possible aprakito vastu ko bu prakito ko chan noy सल्यूशन गिवन इन भागवतम इट इज रिच इन सेवन मुखे ही युवायम अदोय स्वाहम स्पुरुत्य अद अतः अतः कृष्णनामादि अतः कृष्णनामादि कृष्णनामादि आदि मीन एक्सेट्रा अतः कृष्णनामादि मीन कृष्ण नाम एक्सेट्रा इट मीन्स एक्सेट्रा मीन्स कृष्ण नाम कृष्ण दाम कृष्ण लीला कृष्ण परिकार कृष्ण वैश्य आई मीन वैष्णव कृष्ण नामादि दैट्स मीन इंक्लूडेड ऑल एवरीथिंग अतः कृष्ण नामादि न भवेद ग्राह्यम इंद्रिय बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ माय ब्रेन इंटेलेक्ट एवरीथिंग सेंस ऑर्गन आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड बाय दिस आईज आई कैन नॉट सी ए वैष्णव बट होल्ड वर्ल्ड ट्राइंग टू सी गुरु वैष्णव भगवान बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ देयर ओन sense organ mind everything this is the general rules at present that's why they are cheated in the name of bhajan they are cheated they cannot get success atah krishna namadi na bhavit gajya vindiyai shevan mukhe hi yuvayam adau swayam eva spurti adha it's an automatic factor if i am sincere if i am without any duplicity automatically by the kripa of guru vishnu we are hearing but we cannot realize then automatically we can realize everything that day i was speaking na somebody can memorize whole shastra somebody can memorize whole shastra and pass lecture but he cannot understand shastra he cannot realize shastra realization of shastra i mean digestion i mean digestion and assimilation digestion and assimilation is only possible by the kripa of guru vishnu by personal i can read so many i have memory i have so many power i can remember i cannot do <clears throat> so we will have to observe brahmacharya without brahmacharya we cannot grow power not possible brahmacharya in the sense those who are grihastha they can also they are also they can follow very top brahmacharya very top 
in grihastha life to in grihastha life to observe this bow of brahmacharya is very tough people think not to marry means brahmacharya people think so people think so that i am not married so i am brahmacharya not that <coughs> some so called you know some so called important person is coming in front of prabhupad hearing hari katha and speaking prabhupad i am also i am brahmachari prabhupad was speaking about some brahmacharya sanyas how to maintain then that man speaking i am brahmacharya prabhu prabhupad i am not married i am brahmacharya prabhupad speaking if if you are if you are speaking this way that you are not married that's why you are brahmacharya then the animals then is the jew they are more they are they are more and more uh, an important brahmachari than you so not marry or not marry it's it's not a matter brahmachari totally separate thing brahmachari mean to feel attraction for guru vaishnava prakriti jagat because it is really impossible i know we are we are in this material world it is called devi dham it is called devi dham it is maya jagat all nice nice items are there of enjoyment like new market all attractive items decorated maya devi decorating now it's up to you can feel attraction or not that is the main thing so same thing happen with uh, our indra maharaj and virochan i already told brahaspati in front of brahaspati they started learning i already told but the main point after that they gone already again indra maharaj personally approach again indra maharaj when they gone after taking lesson they gone after some time indra maharaj again took trouble to come to approach gurudev to learn personally very deep fellow man brahma tatva then brahaspati speaking he must observe brahmacharya 12 years and you can stay with me and learn after that indra kuch realize something first stage he could realize something but not all and virochan zero virochan zero so in front of sadguru so many disciple can come who is going to get kripa who is not who can understand only guru can realize only guru can realize actually i was speaking about the qualities of vaishnavas sometime it seems the qualities of some banerji babu or some in our society sometime we find some very nice personality his character is very good sometime we can find some similar behavior of my guru maharaj with him sometime it's same in material world but some person we can find that he is having same quality just my just like my guru maharaj somebody is speaking he is very open heart he is giving he always in laughing mood all is speaking with people in very jolly mood we can see we can find some quality just like my guru maharaj but this way we should not say because the quality of mukhaji babu or banerji babu hello it seems like similar quality like my guru maharaj not same because guru pad padmo or vaishnav their quality is aprakita his quality is good i know his quality is very good i know but still it is not aprakita many kings you know i can speak go on speaking hello like king harshavardhan you know you heard the name of harshavardhan never heard king harshavardhan he used to go to kumbh mela you know big kumbh mela he used to give donation all donation billions of you know dollar mane 
in comparison to dollar i am speaking that time dollar was not there america america was not discovered at that time america just 200 250 years it discovered so he used to give donation such a donation you cannot even imagine you cannot even imagine you cannot even imagine in imagination you cannot do he used to give all even his own personal cloth crown all in a jewel i mean ring everything ultimately begging one a uh, torn cloth for some beggar and getting coming but still in history we read in our childhood boyhood raja harshvardhan king so many important kings i can speak polo so many important kings even nigoraj i can speak nigoraj i can speak about nigoraj he used to give donation how many cows he has given in donation we cannot count but still we cannot say that donation their mood of donation is free of any material contamination lap can be there many time it we cannot compare i cannot compare the love of my guru maharaj for me or my with my thousands of father mother i got in my previous life previous previous life i can put one side all father mother in life after life one side their love together and in one side my guru maharaj allah so i cannot compare so what i mean to say sometime it seems the qualities of a very important person in our society his quality is similar to a vaishnav this you cannot say estimation power is not applicable in the way of you know hari bhajan logical interpretation logical interpretation cannot go in the way of that absolute truth so today is the biraha biraha mean separation biraha mean a feeling of separation you never meet with any you never meet with guru vishnu you never meet with guru vishnu you never meet with bhagwan how is possible you can feel if a feeling of separation can come in your life follow our coming to guru vishnu is one kind of material approach try to understand what i mean to say very carefully our coming to guru vishnu our coming to guru vishnu is like just a, i am going to visit one office or maybe some uh, little bit priority priority there with some conception well i can go here it's okay it's not bad but still our still our coming to guru vishnu is not 100% perfect our coming to guru vishnu is not 100% perfect because our submission is not good and if submission is not good then our if submission is not good then our prakita vastu self evolvent try to understand what i mean in the night time 12 o'clock prabhupad used to say give one example night time 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock if i like to see sun god how possible prabhupad giving the example some foolish some foolish man he like to sun god in the night time he is going to light a big megawatt of light coming outside searching where is sun god prabhupad giving the example so if my submission is not perfect even a saranagata then guru vishnu cannot manifest his personal secret sarup in front of me very intricate subject guru vishnu cannot open their intricate you know cannot open their secret sarup in front of me like already i told about popat if somebody coming in front of popat popat watching and it if popat going to find some little bit seva mood then popat used to give identity agras popat used to cheat gor kishor baba ji ma also said what is the land price one katha land how much price at present there in your village 
What is the rate of paddy? This way, Bhavaji Maharaj used to cheat people. Market price of paddy, wheat, is this kind of. But when Jagadish Prabhu, when Jagadish Prabhu Bhakti Pradip Tithu Goswami Maharaj, I can come. Abhir Bhav already I discuss again, I can discuss coming. Tiro Bhav, Abhir Bhav, Vishnu. But Tithu Maharaj when going, Bhavaji Maharaj not speaking anything. Bhavaji Maharaj, you sit. How possible? My question is the how possible? Someone coming, he is coming, and Baba and Jagadish Prabhu, Bhakti Bhakti Tithumandva. What is the difference? Bhavaji Maharaj, you sit, sit, sit. What you bring for me? Or what you bring for me, na? What you bring? One water million. Give, give, give. Putting here. Sit here. Where from you are coming? From Mayapur. From whom? Bimala Pasha Saraswati. Okay, okay, you sit. Can you do a nice kitchen? Yes, I can do. If you order me, then start with kitchen. Bah, very nice kitchen. Your initiation over? No, no, my new initiation is not yet done. How you say your how you say your initiation is not done? How you say your initiation is not done? You are coming from Bimala Basa Saraswati, na? And Antardeep. Antardeep means it is the place, place of submission. Antardeep. Atman Ibadan Khetra. So how you say your initiation is not done? You go quickly, cross the river. Saraswati, Saras Bimala Basa Saraswati waiting for you. Your actually your initiation is over. Is not taken initiation, but it's initiation over. Whereas you have taken initiation, but Baba, you have taken initiation, but Mara saying you are not initiated. Not yet done, your initiation. How possible? What is the scientific, what is the scientific logic behind it? What is the secrecy? Follow what I say. So my, so my going in front of Guru Vaishnava, it depends upon which, what mood, how, I am approaching. According to that, according to that proportion, according to that proportion, according to that proportion, I can be benefited by Guru Vishnu. If my submission they watch 50%, they can open 50%. Get, they can open the screen, curtain, 50%. If 80%, they can also open. 100% they can open. See what I am. That's why. Prabhupada used to give this example, self-effulgent object, like the, I can give you so many Shastra books, you can read and give me. I can give you so many books, you can go to a room, you open the lock, the door and read, and I can ask you some question from that book. Can you give me answer? You cannot digest. It depends upon how much Guru Kipa you are enjoying, how much faith you have, in Shastra, Guru, Guru, Vaishnava, and Shastra, it depends upon. So, so actually, we can approach a Guru Vaishnava, but that doesn't mean I can understand the Sharup, Banisha, everything of Vaishnava. Not that. It depends upon how much submission. So, many people can come in front of Guru Vaishnava. A few, a few of them, can get actual kipa. Guru Vaishnava is not partial. There is no partiality in them. But it depends upon my mood. So, aprakita vastu kovi prakita kuchan noy. Aprakita vastu, I cannot apply my sense of everything, I cannot. So, today is the tiravaptiti. Tiravaptiti mani, a question of vipralamba coming. Question. You try to mathematics like mathematics, you try to get it, otherwise you cannot understand. Otherwise you cannot understand, you have to make a link what I am speaking. So, if Guru Vaishnava is self-effulgent, Bhagavan is self-effulgent, Harinam is self-effulgent, in that case, if today is the Biraha Tithi, today is the Biraha Tithi, Biraha Tithi we means we can get together, Biraha Tithi, we mean, we can get together and sing some glories of Guru Vishnu somehow. Glorification of Guru Vishnu not possible with this material mood. By any way, we can try. 
and after that we can take some prasadam and go away. This is our virahatiti. We never understand the, what is the logic behind this viraha mahatsa. What is the actual logic behind this viraha mahatsa? We don't understand. First point, the object, the object with which, the, the man with which, with whom I never meet, the where from this question of pain can come. Follow. If you at all meet with me, when I go away from this material world, you can cry. If you never meet me, only you will see my material sarup, body, and my sweet word. This is not Guru Vaishnav Darshan. This is not Birahatiti. Follow what I say. So, Paupad gone, Bhakti Mithra gone, Kesav Maharaj gone, Kesav Goswami Maharaj gone, Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Mut. So, we can participate. Anyway, we can participate. We can participate. We can participate, participate in the festival. So many scientific factors are related regarding Mahotsav, Prasadam, who giving donation, who arrange, who is the Acharya, who is the convener. Convener, you know, who is with you know inviting people, convener of the organic, you know, all dependable. If it is Madhav Goswami Maharaj, he is going to convene the meeting. I mean, invite all devotees, I can arrange some prasadam, please come. Then we can keep belief. The Madhav Maharaj means slight contamination, no problem. Bhagavan can overlook. Because great devotee, na? But he is great devotee. Bhagavan. So many factors. Foolish world, they have no idea. Like monkey in that tree, they are dancing unnecessarily. No reason. Sleeping here. Thak! Jumping there. Thak! Jumping there. Monkey. This way. No reason. Our character is just like monkey. This is our condition. So anyway, At all the question of Biraha, at all the question of Biraha can arise if at all I am going to meet with that man. I never met, I never met with that man. I never with never met with that man. I never with my Guru Maharaj, nothing. So how Guru Maharaj is going away, I can feel pain. Follow. So first question of Biraha Titi, this is the vital point. At all I have seen. At all, I have seen the sarup of that Vaishnava, so that I can feel some pain, that this feel of the blank is never possible. Like Pope gone, feel of the blank is not possible. Pope gone mean? Feel of the blank, not possible. Somehow, by the mercy of Siddhar Maharaj, Kesama, we, we are going to, but is Pope gone mean? So this kind of feeling should be there. If at all you are going to meet with Guru Vaishnava, then their question of Pipralambha, separation, feeling of separation can come. Now you can put question in front of me, Maharaj, what you are speaking? We have seen so many uh, devotees, they are crying sometime. Somebody coming, Griyastha Bhakta, they are also crying in front of uh, that, you know, the devotees. They are They are crying sometimes in front of this assembly. But actually they are crying mood. Very, very fine judgment. I, I don't know how long it will take for you to enter into this area, the secret area of feeling. Somebody you can say, the Sevak, I can give you so many examples. I can give you so many examples. I am not speaking dry philosophy. Serving Gurudev, after Gurudev go, gone, disciple crying. Follow. Bhakti, Bilas Chitta Goswami Maharaj. He gone, I don't like to name. I don't name is, I'm not going to make any politics. I like to learn something. The Sebab, I don't like to name. Sebab going to catch the lotus feet of Gurudev. Hundreds of people, they are going to, you know, make free. Come, 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 okay, Gurudev gone. 
watching and crying. I cannot allow Guru to. Samadhi ready, everything ready, but seva cannot get along. As if it may, as if it seems that you can give samadhi of my Guru Maharaj. With Guru Maharaj, you can give me samadhi also. It moves. But I can take you in front of that devotee. At present, still he is alive. How it is possible? Sometimes I go mad. He is characterless. You can go mad. Many times I went there by his invitation. After that, when I could realize he is characterless, and I cut relationship. Previously, because I will have to believe now somebody, gradually I am thinking, why this? After that, I could realize, you know, loose character. I was very sorry. How possible? After serving Gurudev, how possible that a you know, disciple can develop this kind of pratishtasa, enjoying, you know, kamini kanchan? How possible? Guru Seva is such a thing. After doing a little bit Guru Seva, a little bit Guru Seva, you can feel detachment. Whereas, this material world is so, you know, Full of Maya. He cannot understand. Pure Guru Vaishnava can look at anybody, watch, then understand. Totally characterless. I cannot speak in front of Mike. If I speak someday, I cannot name. But how possible? How possible? How it is possible? After serving Gurudev, I am uh, no, Feeling attraction from money, position, woman, how possible? Absurd. Absurd. Those who are doing Guru Shiva, they are less interested to sit in the chair of Acharya. Oh, no, 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 no. I say, Guru says, no, no, I cannot sit, I cannot sit, no. But they like to make politics, I can sit in Vyasasa. So you, they, this way you can understand. Somebody want to throw Gurudev, somebody in living condition want to throw Gurudev and take the Ashan. Gurudev is there, already Gurudev is there. I don't like to name for your lesson, for your lesson and speak. Disciple asking to Gurudev, Gurudev, why you are giving an odd initiation anymore? You already give the, this responsibility to me. Okay, okay, I have done mistake. Important personality, I don't like to name. A, a very important personality, a number one you know, disciple of Prabhupada, I don't like to name. I don't like, if I speak the name, you can spit on him. Speaking to Gurudev. Somehow Gurudev find one suitable person out of affection. Okay, I can give Gurudev, you have to give it. Okay. Then disciple coming. You already give the responsibility of Acharya Joseph to me. Why you are giving? Okay, I have done mistake. Okay, okay you give. Follow. Sometimes asking, Gurudev, I can go to foreign country. Gurudev asking, Kano Jave, Kano, why? Gurudev asking. But they are going forcefully. Forcefully. If I have no direct realization, what preaching I can do? Preaching means cheating. Nobody can fight with me. If there is no direct realization inside my heart, what I can share with you, idiot? What I can share with you? What you can expect from me? It's not preaching, it's called cheating. In Hindi, I am speaking, chule me jai, in Hindi. Let them go to fire. What I can do? I cannot save them. They never want to be saved. What I can do? This way, <coughs> meaning of Vipralamba means at all, if I meet with the Sarup of Guru Vaishnava, at all, if I am going to meet with the Sarup of Guru Vaishnava, then the question of separation can arise. By watching some material qualities of, according to my estimation, whenever I used to come to Mat, Guru, you have taken prasadam. 
First to go, take prasad. My Guru Maharaj, Sagar Maharaj, so many. Whenever any, you have taken prasad. Go, first you go, wash your mouth, drink, then you can. I am waiting for you. So mercy, they are showing like, like billions of mother one side and the mercy of Gurudev. But I never expected that kind of mercy from Gurudev. It is one kind of cheating. Sometimes express, expressing right mood, sometimes we are going to remember, sometimes we, are, sometimes we are going to remember that kind of qualities, try to understand. Sometimes we, we, sometime we are going to remember that kind of nice qualities which all are favorable to me. Don't mistake, make mistake. Sometimes we are going to remember some qualities Sometimes we are going to remember some qualities of Guru Vishnu. Those qualities are just favorable for me. But those qualities not favorable for me, we are not going to count. Oh, he used to say, where from you are coming? You have taken prasadam, go. This. Sometime Gurudev getting information that in your house I heard so many fighting going on. So better you can come. You can say in, you can say in Dham, uh, I can arrange some money for you. Practical experience. Uh, my Guru Maharaj also. Some Griyasa devotee in, in, in their ashram, father and you know, a brother, brother fighting. Then Guru Maharaj came to know, you can, I can arrange some money, have some pronoun. You come and stay, stay here in Dham. This kind of nice, nice qualities. We have seen some American devotee, very rich devotee, used to bring so much money and going to give to Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, what I can do? Ah, you, you take it. Nah, I cannot take what I can. You can give to that Maharaj. Okay, Guru Maharaj is going to take, touch and give. Follow. Sometime Gurudev is going to cheat us with sweet behavior, sweet ball. Some character, some behavior, some qualities of Guru Vaishnava favorable to me. Some qualities of Guru Vaishnava not favorable to me. Are Kesab Goswami was speaking this way, you know? Hey, what you are doing? Sant Thomas, I can beat with the chapel, wooden chapel. I use this. I mean, those qualities favorable to me, we, we understand. Ah, oh, very nice. And when Gurudev gone, due to, due to this reason, due to this reason, they are crying. Titan. My Guru Ma used to give me, you have taken prasadam. I have some prasadam. Prasadam finish there. Prasadam finish. I have some prasadam. You take, I have no appetite. They are going to remember those qualities and they are going to shit to you. Oh, Guru Ma, you used to love me so much. But this is one kind of enjoying mood. This is not Vipralambha. Nobody in the world can discuss. Pope has gone, Kesav Maharaj has gone. Analytical, nobody is. If you remember and if you are in line, I can put challenge in Vyasasana. I can touch. Nishingadev and Pulsi, you can come out successful. But it depends upon your faith. So much self confidence I have. So those qualities matching with me, those qualities of Guru Vishnu matching with me, I mean, I'm going to be supporting, then I go, I'm crying. So this is not actually a big problem. This is called enjoying mood. I was enjoying, I was enjoying by the help of my Guru Maharaj. The presence of my Guru Maharaj was one kind of, you know, very positive factor for me. It is not Vipralamba. Whereas Kesav Goswami was speaking very heavily. Sometime Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj used to speak slag language. Slag language, you know? I cannot speak in record. <laughs> but I can show you. If you disbelieve me, I can show you. Slag language. Somebody coming, Guru Baba Jivajima, look at then Kanadi. You are coming for this reason, huh? Idiot. 
Babaji Maharaj can realize. With which mood, who coming, approaching, he could realize. So, this is not a probably Viplamba mood. This is not Viraha. Those who are actually enjoying Viraha, those who are actually feeling Viraha, they must be having, they must be having Sarup Darshan of Guru Vaishnava. They must be having Sarup Darshan. Otherwise, how they are coming? They are actual Darshan of Bani Sarup. That's why they are feeling some blank, blank, some blank which can never be compensated. This is called actually. So, our Parambuja Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj gone. Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj was a very tough personality. I don't like to say according to your estimation. Very tough personality. His name was his name was actually uh, uh, Shiva, Shiva Govindo, I think. Uh, Shiva Shankar. Shiva Shankar. Previous name. In a house. He was from a very rich family. I like to discuss about some intricate philosophy. Not that he took birth here. Only I like to touch. He took birth at present. It is called Bangla... At present it is called Bangladesh Borishal. At present it is called Bangladesh Borishal. Borishal district, he took birth. He was from a very rich family, Jamindar family. And his elder brother was a freedom fighter. Whenever he grew up, his education, his schooling, his schooling was done in a very nice place. And his, you know, after that education he is doing, in the meantime, I am going to touch only, not in details. Suddenly he discovered, that one sadhu from Goryamad going to uh, speak Harikatha here. Today night, he took decision to go there. He is going to attend the Harikatha. He is hearing Harikatha. Follow. Only he is going to discuss Dharma Khetya, Kuru Khetya, Samaveda, Judusabaha. This sloka, only one sloka. First sloka, for two hours. Two hours, continuously, two, three hours, going to discuss. Dharma Khetya, Kuru Khetya, Samavita, Jusava. This sloka. Gita, first sloka. The name of the sadhu, you know, the name of the sadhu is Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. Who is Bhakti Vivek Bharati? Tall figure. A tall figure, like Prahlad Maharaj. When going to sit in one place, you can feel some reaction. Nice figure. I can show you the picture of Bharati. Each and every Abhirbhav Tirova, foolish, you can take one picture and attach with the Harikatha. You are making mistake. Each Harikatha, in starting, you can give the picture. So that whole world can know the exalted devotees. We are making mistake. Follow. Before hearing, we must see who is he. He is going to hear the Harikatha in his first, you know, you know, of Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. After hearing, he gone mad. Because by birth, they are devotees. They are eternal persons of Prabhupada. So naturally, they are feeling attraction from Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, naturally from childhood. So when, he, by hearing this, he gone mad. He, somehow, he wanted to take shelter unto a lotus feet of Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. Bhartima was speaking, now actually 11 o'clock night, you can go to home, tomorrow I can talk with He is going to home, cannot sleep in the bed, because so much tension and anxiety. Morning time around 4, 4.30, running to that sadhu, I mean Bhakti Vek Bhartima. By chance that sadhu can go away, going to catch. Then Bhakti Vek Bhartima was speaking, well, you can come with me to Mayapur. Bhakti Vedanta Bharati Maharaj is going to catch that boy, young boy, and coming to Mayapur and going to give this Jivatma as a Puspanjali unto the lotus feet of Prabhupada. 
You see the mood. At present, if somebody coming, I like to meet with that Maharaj. Practically. So you can you can search there. So many important people. Where is Sambhava? Well, we don't know. Because they know if meet. Yes. I'm not speaking lie. Maximum. Maximum case, you know, you can ask him. For one year, two years searching we were. Internet going to uh, this, that, where? They say, we don't know. Or somebody going to criticize. They were in the Kodima there. Somebody criticizing. Ah, he is very tough man. Has no etiquette, nothing. Continue searching, then meet with me. This is a condition. So it's quite natural. People cannot allow you to. People cannot allow you to hear about absolute truth. Not possible. Maya. <clears throat> so this way, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj is going to catch that young, you know, boy in front of Prabhupada. Prabhupada, I bring. He like to take shelter. Prabhupada watching at him and can realize something is there. Well, you can wait. After that, Prabhupada going to give initiation. I mean, initiation, past Harinam, after that, initiation. In the year of 1900, in the year of 1924, he took birth in the year of 1900 and 1900 and 1906, he took birth in Kartik, October, October, Kartik, he took birth. And he took initiation by the grace of Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. By the grace of Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, he took shelter and told us with the Prabhupada when he was 24 minus 6. How much? 24. 24 minus 6. He took initiation. After that, all from house, father and mother, all, you at least you can, okay, we are not going to, okay, we are not going to arrange marriage for you. You like to serve Gurudev, okay. But you can come and take education first. Forcefully, they catch him and bring and to his village. There he completed his education. After that, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj again going to catch that boy and bring again in Gauriyamad. Again. Follow. So again he joined. Again he joined Gauriyamad completely, totally in the year of 1928. Follow. In 1924, he took Harinam Diksha, very intelligent. Very, very intelligent, so intelligent, you cannot imagine. Whenever hearing, watching, hearing anything, you remember. Prabhupada was very much interested. So in the year of 1928, he joined Gauriyama totally, completely. He yeah, is the eternal person of Prabhupada. So, then Prabhupada, watching the, watching the qualities of this boy. Prabhupada used to send this small boy, I mean young boy, with Bhakti Bharati Maharaj, with Bhakti Hidoy Banodiv Bhakti Bhakti Hidoy Banodiv Goswami Maharaj, Nanda Shuno, Brahmachari name, Brahmachari name of Brahmachari name of Bhakti Hidoy Banodiv Goswami Maharaj, Nanda Shuno Prabhu, Hagir Brahmachari, Bhakti Hidoy Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Hagir Brahmachari, with Ramananda Prabhu, Ramananda Prabhu, our Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, this way. Always, Prabhupada used to give. Hey, you can take this young boy. Very nice, very tough. Etiquette okay. Character very good. Moral character is very good. And on the strength of Guru Kippa, he has the capacity to speak something. Only four years. Because King Kira Harikata is tough. And the speciality is that he, he never in his whole life, he never in his whole life, sometimes I'm feeling sorry. Because it's ocean of Harikata. I cannot speak within two hours. I am feeling sorry for that. He never made any compromise with Siddhanta, wrong Siddhanta, with any Sahajiya, never. Even somebody wanted to kill him, but still he never made any compromise. 
Never. I can speak some example by the help of which if you go uh, through this Harikatha and learn, automatically your heart, you, 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 are, you, you, you can give your heart under the lotus feet of that Mahapurush. So nice. Externally, he was very tough. He never used to make he never used to make any compromise with Siddhanta Bija or anything. One, two or four examples I can give you. Siddhanti Maharaj used to go with them and used to do kirtan, everything. Bhakti Bharati Maharaj, Siddhanti Maharaj, I know Siddhanti Maharaj I mean that time his name was a name was uh, uh, Siddha Sarup Prabhu. His Brahmachari name was Siddha Sarup Prabhu. Siddha Sarup Prabhu used to go here and there. In that time, it was not uh, it was not divided India, undivided India. Bangladesh means India. To go to Noakhali, you know, Yashur, Khulna. He used to go to some, you know, Mahaprabhu, Silet, Silet, no? Srihatta, Chattagram, different, massive preaching. Sometime in Dhaka, massive preaching. He was also very effective. Sometime all those uh, God brothers, senior God used to say, you can speak Harikatha. Very strange. Sometime they went in a preaching tour to Silet, Srihatta, Silet. Sri Hatcha. There are three days Harikatha. Three days Harikatha. Religious function. So, first of all, first day, Gauriyama is going to speak something. So, Sridhar Goswami Maharaj was there. I mean, Rai Ramananda Prabhu. And Hayagir Brahmachari was there. And he himself. First day, he allows Siddha Saru, we can speak Harikatha. Prabhu, you can speak. He started speaking. He started speaking in such a way that local people become very angry, started agitation, wanted to break everything. Then Sridhar our Madhav Gosima, Sridhar Gosima Maharaj, somehow could get the situation under control. Very dangerous. Vulnerable situation, very sensitive. Because Siddha Sarup. Prabhu wanted to establish, wanted to establish the absolute mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and wanted to establish the X mission, Y mission, they are cheater. Wanted to openly. They are cheater. They are taking fish and meat, everything, and they are going to cheat you. They are going to guide you so that you can worship a demigod. But our Gauranga Mahaprabhu speaking, demigod is not an object of our worship. We can also say absolute God, Supreme Lord. This way. Speaking openly. After speaking, the whole you know, situation, a very vulnerable situation. After that, the Sabha was dissolved. Sabha could not run. Sabha was dissolved. After that, district magistrate, district magistrate took decision, district magistrate took decision to postpone. District magistrate took decision to postpone the in a Dharma Sabha. Then Madhav Goswami is going to meet with that district magistrate. After watching at Madhav Goswami Maharaj, after watching at Madhav Goswami, he is feeling something. District Magistrate, please sit. I come to you to give you assurance. I give Brahmachari, Madhav Goswami is speaking. I come to you to give assurance, to give you assurance that there cannot be any violence in the assembly. Please try to restore. This thing may say, I cannot take risks. Then Madhugudu says, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. It is my resolution. If you permit me, I can, we can organize the Sava in such a way, very soft way. Actually, my god brother spoke all rightly. But his representation was not. Pe representation people could not accept. He was speaking right. Then <coughs> district magistrate took decision, okay. 
Then next sabha, first of all, our Madhugusi Maharaj, I mean Hayagi Brahmachari started speaking. Our Hayagi Brahmachari started speaking very softly. After that, our Hayagi Brahmachari giving responsibility to Ramananda Prabhu, I mean Siddhar Goswami, to establish the Siddhanta. Siddhar Goswami had taken the mic, politely, first of all, going to appreciate our local people. I am very surprised to see the hospitality. And we are very surprised. We, on behalf of Gauriya society, you know, we are really surprised to see the kind of hospitality shown by you all, select people. Cordial reception. People, their hot temper going down. After that, after that, Ramananda Prabhu, very, very soft, very soft, <coughs> speak on. After that, going to establish that my God brother spoke yesterday very heavily, but he was very merciful, he was very merciful than me. That's why he wanted to make a straight cut operation. But sorry, he, was, he is not a very big sadhu, that's why he wanted to speak this way. You wanted to make a straightforward operation in your belly to throw all garbage, but you misunderstood. Anyway, Siddhar Goswami, after speaking all philosophy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and with appealing mood speaking, any one of you from any caste and creed, I am not going to speak that A is coming from X mission, Y mission, I cannot speak. I am, it is open to you. I request you all, you know, any one of you. Any caste and creed can come and establish that I am speaking lie. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not Supreme Lord, you can establish. Then the so, whole Sabha was silent. They started giving acclamation. Wide acclamation. You are right. After that, whole assembly, thousands of, thousands of people, they are requesting to the district magistrate and the, and the convener. Convener of the assembly, uh, we like to hear for 15 days, Gauriya philosophy, very sweet philosophy. We like to hear continuously, not three days. We like to hear continuously, 15 days, the exalted sadhu, how their behavior, how nice they are looking. Even after looking at them, we are feeling some days, please, you are right. 15 days, marathon harikatha. Another time, <coughs> In Bangladesh, one place, it is called uh, uh, Naran Ganj. It is called Naran Ganj, one place there. There, Harikatha was there. And Madhav Goswami Maharaj was not there, not there in the Sava. Madhav Maharaj was not there, because they are busy. According to the instruction of Prabhupada, they are running here and there. And our Rai Ramananda Prabhu, he was also not there. Bhakti Vyak Bharti Maharaj was there. Bhakti Maharaj was there. You can speak Harikatha. Again, going to establish Siddhanta, <coughs> going to speak Siddhanta in such a way that all opponent party destroyed. Going to speak Jatamat Tatapat is Sahajiya. There is so many ways. According to, according to your ways, you can get the way out. Jatamat Tatapat means according to your belief, according to your you know, procedure you are following, all you can come out successful. This is Sahajya. Jatamat Tatapat. As much as, you know, they, you know they, what is called, uh, as much as, you know, there is so much, you know, uh, doctrine, according to that, you all can come out successful. Different, different doctrine, you know. Religious doctrine, they is Sahajya, speaking this way. Jatama Tatapar. Our Siddha Sarup Babu going to set fire to this Siddhanta Vichar. But they say, you should sense, you should feel shy. You are speaking Jiva Pem Koreji John, you are speaking lie. Jiva Pem Koreji John, Sai John Sebiji Shar. This is your mercy that you are taking fish and meat. You are going to speak lie in front of public. Eh? It is called actually Jiva Prem Kari. 
actually those who are going to show some mercy to uh, you know bonded soul, it is called Hari Seva. Jibabam is actually Hari Prem, Krishna Prem, speaking this way. Wrong. And whole world going to give in America, Chicago, foolish. You open that lecture and what is there? Like Mayavadi. Like Christian philosophy, you know, in Christian. Oh, God, you arrange our daily bread. Why should we approach the Supreme Lord for only for bread, chapati? Is this practical? He also speaking. Oh, bread, arrange our daily bread. Bhagavan is our servant. Daily he can give chapati, can supply chapati to me. Idiot. This is not bhajan. It's not bhajan. So he's going to speak heavy way, heavily. And not only that, we to say that your Vivek XY is Gunda Hooligan. I don't like to name because openly. They, of course, if I speak openly, they cannot do anything. <coughs> they cannot do anything, anyhow, because they are true. Hello. That's why she, our Siddhanta Mahara openly speaking, he is hooligan, a spiritual hooligan, a spiritual mafia. He used to speak this way. You are going to honor him, give garland to him, and make statue of that man. Actually, I took birth in the, almost in the same building. They are speaking Hangsa, Paramangsa. Our Siddhanti Maharaj is going to speak, he is not Paramangsa. He is actually, eh, actually not Paramangsa. He is actually a crane, crane, you know, crane? Tall head. Oh, oh, one bird you can find in the water. Tall head. Ka, ka, ka. Very slowly going. And taking peace. He compared, in the whole assembly was very agitated. And finally, uh, and that assembly, Siddhar Maharaj was there. Nanda Shunu Prabhu, I mean, uh, Banu Maharaj was not there. And uh, finally, <coughs> when the Sabha was very hot, then after that, our Siddhar Maharaj started speaking very, very gentle mood. Well, I am in favor of you. This is not the way of representation of Harikatha. I am in your favor. You will have to give answer. Why are you speaking this way? Then the news came, then the news came in front of Prabhupada. That your Siddha, <coughs> your Siddha Saru Prabhu speaking this way. There is a great fire. In front of Prabhupada, our <coughs> in front of Prabhupada. Our Bhakti Bila Sittu Maharaj, I mean that time Kunjoda. Kunjoda is going to inform the whole situation of the assembly in front of Prabhupada. Prabhupada, Siddha Sarup, Siddha Sarup Prabhu speaking this way. And the whole assembly was very hot. Prabhupada laughing. Siddha Sarup has done a great seva which can cost more than one lakh. Siddha Sarup, my Siddha Sarup has done nice seva. Ah, nice seva. Ah, it, is, it is more than one lakh. Who can speak this way? Siddha Sarup has 100% submission unto the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu. That's why I can speak this way. Who can speak? Someday I can discuss a coming Harikatha. If you have no submission, you, can, you have no right to speak that way. You can feel sorry. Oh, I can speak this way. People can attack me. So, Siddha Sarup has done such a nice seva, which is not possible for everybody, which can cost one more than one lakh amount of money. Right? Nice. Prabhupada was very happy. Hello. Now, <coughs> I, like to, I like to jump because time cannot permit. Siddha Sarup Prabhu, I mean, Siddhanti Maharaj, is very tough. Externally, very tough. People say, I am tough, Sam Baba is heavy. But I think he is more tough than me. I am not tough. Eh? 
Siddhanti Maharaj, when Prabhupada gone, when Prabhupada gone, he took decision not to join any party. When Prabhupada gone, Bhakti when Prabhupada gone, then Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, then, then Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj and Siddhanti Maharaj, I mean Siddha Sarup Prabhu, they took decision not to join any party. They wanted to do bhajan and preaching separately under the guidance of Prabhupada. So this way they procured one place in Hajra, South Calcutta. Hajra, near Chaitanya Gorimar. And there they make one temple, they started preaching, they established Radha Govinda Vigra, Gaurari. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was there, and they started preaching. And Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was the Shiksha Guru. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was the Shiksha Guru of Siddhanti Maharaj. Because first Harikatha he heard from Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, I already told. <coughs> Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was the number one, you know, Shiksha Guru in his own life. So never when wanted to leave him. Anyway, so this way he started doing bhajan under the guidance of Prabhupada and Shiksha Guru. Sila Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj started doing bhajan. After some time, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj gone from this material world. Not so aged, maybe 78 or I forget, I can have to remember, 80 or like that, his body was heavy. From the material world, gone. He was crying and crying heavily. Even Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, when opened one mot in Sargadwar, Sargadwar, Puri, Orisha, Sargadwar, and wanted to, took decision to do bhajan separately. Then Siddha Sarup Prabhu wrote one big letter. If you are not going to come, if you are not going to come to me to bestow, keep on me, then I am also going to solitary bhajan. You have to come. Otherwise, you can die. If you have taken decision, if you have taken decision to do go for solitary bhajan, then I also can go. Then after reading the letter, Bhakti Vivek Bhati Maharaj was crying and took decision to come back. Siddha Sarupapu. But still, what to do? It is the arrangement of Supreme Lord. After some years, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj left body. From this world gone. Siddha Sarupapu was feeling helpless because he was the main support, Siksha Guru, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. Anyway, after that, he took decision to take sannyas. To take sannyas. That day I told, na, I forgot that I told Asram Maharaj. I told Asram Maharaj that, you know, our uh, Kunjoda, he also took, you know, Asram Maharaj. Not, not this Asram Maharaj. Is, uh, which Asram I forget. Anyway, his name is uh, Asram Maharaj, some Asram Maharaj. Anyway, so Asram uh, Asram Maharasam. But name I forget. Anyway, Asram Maharaj is a senior devotee of Prabhupada. <coughs> he took sannyas in the year of 1941. In the year of 1941, I mean Prabhupada gone from this material world, 31st December, 31st December 1936, and as per uh, English calendar, you can say in the year of 1937, 1st January. As per English calendar, in the year of 1937, 1st January. Because up to 12, the English people they are calculating. So, as per Bengali calendar, you have to calculate the uh, time of sunrise. According to that, you can calculate 3 o'clock is previous day, 3.30 previous day. He led to Brahma Muhutta. So many nice calculations. So he took sannyas in the year of 1941 and started preaching massive way, massive way. Such a nice preaching, 
not going to foreign country here. Very. And his main seva was publication seva. His name main seva was publication seva because at the time of Prabhupada, <coughs> when Prabhupada was doing uh, Leela, he wanted to publish the Bhashya, you know, Bhashya commentary of Vedanta, Upanishad, so many. But Prabhupada gone, Prabhupada wanted to compile one special dictionary. One special dictionary, Prabhupada. Prabhupada wanted to, huh, special dictionary. But Prabhupada gone from this material world. Finally, Siddha Saru Prabhu took decision to write the commentary of Vedanta Sutra by consulting Baladev Vidyavushan, Vishwanath, you know, Baladev Vidyavushan, and, you know, different commentator wanted to take and all it invite all exalted devotees sitting like Rup Sanatan. Rup Sanatan, you know? You forget. When Rup Sanatan is going to resign from Prime Ministership or Finance Ministership, King taking King, King, King going to take information. Why you are not coming? Actually we are sick. When King himself coming, King discovered that they are not sick. They are reading Bhagavatam with all Pandit, big, big devotees. King said, I send a, I send a great, you know, Ayurvedic doctor. I send a great Ayurvedic doctor, but doctor uh, informed me there is no disease. But you say you disease. Actually, we are, we are not in a position to continue. Actually, we are not in a position to continue our, our service. Why, why, why? No, we cannot do. You can engage some. Then the king became angry, wanted to arrest Sanatan Gosai. So at home, they are discussing Bhagavatam. Eh, 20 or 25 Pandit, all big, big, exalted devotees there also. They are speaking one, one slok. Sanatan Gosai is speaking. What do you think? They are speaking this. Another Pandit, what do you think? And the synopsis of each and everybody there. So you see, is she the capacity of Siddhar, uh, Siddhanti Maharaj? Siddhanti Maharaj is going to come and uh, almost every day sitting with Pandit. Many times when I went to his temple, sitting with all Pandit, and he is himself sitting with diary, they are speaking, making, speaking this. After, that is going to take all the commentary of and as this, you know, our Baldev Vidyabhushan, commentary of Ramanuja Charjo, commentary of Madha Charjo, all. Going to take all and going to take the final decision, Govinda Bhashya. We are so lucky. Finally, he is going to Right, compile a very nice book. We, on behalf of Gauriya society, we, on behalf of Gauriya society, ever, ever grateful to Siddhanta. We can never forget. He is a star. My Guru Ma speaking, someday I can discuss. My Guru Ma speaking, it's a bright star. Guru Ma speaking, it's a bright star, self effulgent star. In the sky of Gauriya Gagan. My Guru Master writing so many, I have no time to discuss. You are not giving me time, sufficient time. What I can do? I am jumping like monkey. What to do? So finally, by the desire of Prabhupada, he was successful to write the commentary of Vedanta, commentary of Upanishad. Upanishad means Upanishad number of. In front of some foolish, I am speaking. Number of Upanishad is 108. 108. Number of one is 108 Upanishad. But mainly 11 Upanishad. 11. Eh? Isho, Keno, Kotho, Oitariyo, Tattariyo, Mandukko. Mand uh, this way, 11. So, Siddhanti Maharaj is going to write commentary on all I have. I was so foolish man, but I am very careful about that. Guru Maharaj used to 
speak all secrets in front of me. My son, you can collect it. Not to everybody. <laughs> so, I have no place to... I am like a beggar. Here, there, there I go, speak Harikata, you go away. I go away. Here I speak Harikata, oh, he cannot. Nobody can digest. Where to go? Finally, I am moving around. Finally, by the desire of Shanta Maharaj writing one letter of blessing, you have your responsibility to serve your Sampradaya. That letter is there. I am not making any story. I was crying in the letter. This is my situation. Wherever I go, wherever I go, they make politics with me, they don't allow me. Shantama said, don't fear. Don't fear, it is your seva, Sampradaya seva. I wonder. I wonder how possible. By the blessing of Santo Maharaj and Guru Bhargava, Tito Maharaj, many types, Tito Maharaj told. You must preach. Oh, no, Maharaj, how I can preach? Man, no, you must preach with me. Bharti Maharaj, all big, big sadhu. Sattvagamendu Maharaj, Maharaj, you can speak Harika. No, you can speak. Sattvagamendu Maharaj, Guru Varga. Guru Varga, Popat Gam. You can speak Harika. No, Maharaj, I cannot speak. I don't know Harika. Whatever you know, you speak. This is Harika. <laughs> Miracle. So, <clears throat> by the mercy of Guru Dev and Guru Varga, Somehow, I am going to manage my life this way. I am not successful, I cannot say. This one kind of false ego. I am trying to come out successful. So, by the blessing of Santokusima, I have the letter. The letter was printed in the magazine also. He going to remind me, you have your responsibility to serve your Sampradaya. Sampradaya? Sampradaya is a big thing. What are you giving? After that, really true, by the mercy of Santa Gusti Maharaj. So, so finally, by the mercy of Prabhupada, you know, he was successful to publish all the commentaries of Vedanta Bhashya, all the Bhashya of Upanishad, main Upanishad. He wrote a commentary on Gita. Gita. He wrote commentary Gita Bhushan. The name of the commentary written by Siddhantimara on the basis of the commentary of Baladev Vidyavashan, Vishwana Chakotibad, Bhakti Thakur. Then, if I ask you, what is the name of the commentary of, uh, if I ask you one question, what is the name of the commentary of Gita written by Bhakti Thakur? Can you speak? So, in front of some foolish, I am speaking. Rasik, Rasik Nandan Tika. This. This way actually, all Tika, different uh, and a commentary, he put at a time after that, wanted to explain nice way. Nice way. Follow. So many books. I cannot speak you. So many books. Siddhanta Mara wanted to print, but the money was not there. He was not so rich man. He was the first man to give do, give, give doshi. He was the first man to give donation to Madhav Goswami Maharaj for the construction of Popat Abhirva place. <laughs> you can go back. He was the first man to give donation. First he opened some money and give to God brother. You take. I am the first donor. For the construction of the place of Pobat, Abhirva place. <coughs> very, very special. Very, very special it is of Siddhanti Maharaj. Very, very speciality of Siddhanti Maharaj. Whenever he wanted to make any mud, you can go there. All temple, there's a nice, nice picture, nice, nice, you know, nice, nice. It is just like the mood of Prabhupada. Prabhupada used to arrange, na? Eh? One, you know, Prabhupada used to arrange some exhibition. <coughs> it was the nature of Prabhupada. Prabhupada used to open exhibition at Howrah Station, Shialda Station, Elihabad, 
Kashi, Varanasi, everywhere. Dhaka. It was the nature of Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada could realize by hearing Harikatha, maximum people, they are foolish. They cannot understand. Some exhibition should be there. Exhibition, if there is some, you know, cartoon, cartoon, no? There is some cartoon picture. Cartoon, no? Cartoon, cartoon picture. Uh, then they can realize. Some model picture. Model, no? Model? Like Ajamil. Ajamil going to leave body. Yamaduta coming. Vishnaduta going to make him free. Oh, what is this? People can ask question. Then, all small devotees, they can sit in front of the exhibition. If anybody, Prabhu, what is the meaning? They can explain under the guidance of Prabhupada. So this way, <coughs> it, was a it was the nature of Prabhupada. <coughs> even in Radha Kund, even in Radha Kund, the responsibility of opening one magazine was given to Nanda Shuna Prabhu. I mean, Bhakti Hida Panadu Kushima. Very important exhibition about the Bhajan Kutir of Radharani, about the Bhajan Kutir of Lalita, Vishaka, all. You see? You see? Popat not going to support us? Popat not going to support us regarding Raganuga Bhajan Rubaru? Who idiot telling? Who idiot speaking? Popat giving responsibility to Ban Maharaj. You can open one exhibition around Radha Kundu. There is actually, Ban Maharaj is very intelligent. At that time, Bhun Maharaj was from English medium. I can discuss, but at a time I cannot discuss. Very intelligent. His prasadam purity, father and son. Mother never used, used to enter purity. Hello, used to open exhibition. Radha Kun, what is the, how Krishna making Leela? If Prabhupada is not in favor of Raganuga Bhajan, Rupanuga Bhajan, then why Prabhupada giving instruction to Bhun Maharaj? Because he is the fittest personality. He is going to calculate which corner, which corner, which corner Lalita Devi, Sananda Sukadeva. You have been there? Never. The Bhajan Kutira of Prabhupada Bhakti Thakur, where I used to say long time. That is a Lalita Sukadeva Kunja. Which corner Vishaka Saki Kunja? Which corner eh, Tunga Vidya Saraswati? Which corner? Chitra Saki, all different corners. Bon Maharaj Prabhupada was so happy. By watching the exhibition, Prabhupada was so happy, so happy, I cannot speak. So happy. Prabhupada do not like Rupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga. Who is idiot speaking? He's idiot number one. Who is speaking like this? Ravish. Prabhupada do not allow Sahajiya mood. This much, okay. Prabhupada never allows Sahaja. Sahaja Mahatma. Prabhupada wants to see the quality in you. Prabhupada is ready to catch you. Come on, come on. But you have become Sahaja. How Prabhupada become happy with me? So many books. So many books. We are ever grateful. So many books. Prabhupada, you know, Gopal Tapani. The most important books. If we like to get the exact explanation of Gaya through everything, Gopal Tapani. Gopal Tapani Upanishad, you don't know. Very old Upanishad. Without which our Gaudiya Samaj is blind. He printed. So he is useless. All Guru Bhargava, they are useless. And only I am the monkey is not good. One by one Guru Bhargava I can discuss, you can go mad. How nice they are. All they have done, great seva. He was tough. Yes, he was tough. I confess he was tough. Like Prabhupada was very tough. So he was also tough. Kishama was tough. Santoma was tough. I am their son. I am very tough. But they are very, very tough. They have love inside heart. After Bhakti Vyak Bharti Maharaj gone, some disciple of Bhakti, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj. They took sannyas from, you don't understand. After Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj gone, 
after Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj gone from this material world, some of the disciples of Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj wanted to take sannyas from Siddha Sarvabhadra. Okay. He was my Sikha Guru. He wanted to get, okay. Maharaj giving sannyas. After giving sannyas, Ma Maharaj is going to give instruction. We have one book now. I already translated. The significance of the sannyas bratha in Gauriya Man. We already published it. I don't know who has gone. You try to publish in a very moderate way. If you publish so much, people can think very cheap. Follow. They cannot digest. We are importing, we are publishing so many important things, but ev almost every day. So they have no right to read, no time. We are publishing so many harikatha, they think it is very cheap. But in a way, in a year, if Acharya is going to speak one harikatha, they think it's more a practical. So idiot our Samaj. So Siddhanta Goswami, Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj speaking, the rules and regulation of sannyas. This way, I will have to mention sannyas. This way. After that, one year, two year, Siddhanta Maharaj watching, they are deviated from, they are, they are deviated from the track. Siddhanta Maharaj, Siddhanta Maharaj called them, come to me. He should follow sannyas brato in total. Get my point? You should follow your sansa, sannyas brato in total. Otherwise, I cannot allow. Siddhanta give warning. Siddhanta is giving warning. After that, still they are not going to obey. They are going to the house of a widow. Widow, you know, widow. Husband gone. They are going to get the association of that widow. Siddhanta is thinking, it is not the rules. It is not the rules, you cannot go. Finally, when they are not going to obey, finally, when they are not going to obey Siddhanta Maharaj, Siddhanta Maharaj is going to catch the Uttariya and pull. Give my, give my Uttariya, give my Bhairvas, give my Sanyas. I cannot allow to maintain Sanyas. You can enter into Gyasavata, Gyasavata, Gyasalai. Pulling, catching this cloth and pulling. No, I cannot allow. You are going to cheat me. You are going to catch this Uttariya. Pulling. They become very angry. They become very angry. They took decision to kill. They took decision to kill Siddhanti Maharaj. Because so long as he is li living, we cannot enjoy our life. At present, the situation. We can enjoy Sanna's life, at the same time, Grihas life, both. I am not speaking lie. I am touching, you know, Tumsi Devi. That is present position. Bhaktivinoda Tagore writing, I can show you, very shortly going to publish. Bhaktivinoda Tagore speaking, they want to get the honor of sannyas, at the same time they like to get, you know, the enjoyment of Kriyas, everything they like. Bhaktivinoda Tagore speaking, 150 years back, nobody can fight with me. I can give green banana to them, those who are approaching me. One, one green banana. They cannot fight with me. I can open and so Bhaktivinoda Tagore told. There is a situation. After that, they took decision to kill Siddhanti Maharaj. How to kill? Because he is inside temple, all disciples there. So he, they took decision in a winter season. In the winter season, the beating cold. That time all devotees go enter into their room and sleep. But Siddhanti Maharaj sleeping in the Natya Mandir, you know, Natya Mandir, not in a private room. So that time he is alone. We can take a sharp weapon and kill him. Took decision. So by chance, it is the arrangement of Prabhupada. It is the arrangement of Prabhupada of Gurudev. Many times I come back from death. Hundred, hundred percent death was there in my life. But I come back from death. No father can save me. But I, I am back from death. Similarly, similar. Especially that day, especially that day. Why? Especially that day. Why? Why Siddhanta Maharaj going to change his pose? Pose and you know, pose of sleeping. Usually sleeping this way. 
but that is speaking, sleeping this way. His head is there, by chance, why you don't know? By chance, sleeping. With the kambal, kambal, you know, blanket, and one notorious, you know, so-called devotee, I told already the name, is coming with one cutter, you know, cutter, you know, cutter, wood cutter, you know, wood cutter, yes. a sharp weapon. Ah! Here, mat. But that time, Siddhanti Mara jumped from the bed. Bed money? Down, ground. And blood coming like fountain. The Dharma opened the blanket and could see somebody running. He could realize who is that man. He could realize who is that man who wanted to, wanted to kill me. That a man flying and, you know, throw that cart everything. Sleeping. Finally, policeman came, detect detective department making some investigation, and that man was caught somehow. That a devotee, so called devotee, was caught. He was taken to was taken to court. Taken to court. And the judge asking question. Judge asking question sometime. The you know the lawyer putting question, the lawyer opponent party of that man speaking. Well, Maharaj, you can realize, you can understand. You saw that man now, night time is flying, attempt to murder Kras. The lawyer speaking to Siddhanti Maharaj. Siddhanti Maharaj, Maharaj, you look at the man. It's the same devotee, no? Same, same man, same man, no? You look at him. You identify. Siddhanti Maharaj in the in the stage stage, you know, in the court there is one two stage, you know, two two stage. One open you know, the man who is accused will have to stand and the opponent. The Maharaj looking at him. Maharaj looking at his eyes. For a long time, Maharaj looking at his eyes. Maharaj for a long time looking at his eyes, very mercifully, and speaking to the pleader, no. Huh? Not this man? No. What do you say? That man is caught. Come on, Maharaj. You, you look properly. You take time to identify that man. Maharaj speaking, no. Then what to do? The judge was bound to dissolve the case because Maharaj himself going to say no, but that man wanted to kill him. But Maharaj said no. So there is no mercy with Siddhanti Goswami Maharaj if somebody is speaking, he is doing offense. Most merciful. Maybe he can provide a slap on my, che on my cheek, but still I can catch the lotus feet of Siddhanti Maharaj. I want to be guided by him. Maybe you can leave, but I like to follow him. Target, try to, try to understand the target of your life. Main problem is that you cannot find out the target. If your life is aimless, then it's a big problem. Your target should be fixed up. The reason for why I leave everything, I want to follow Prabhupada, the reason for why I am like I like to follow Bhakti Thakur, nobody can throw me out of my track. The strong resolution you will have to take in your life. So many Siddhanta which are able to speak about, you know, Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj. But I'm sorry, time cannot permit. Ocean of Harikatha. Ocean of Harikatha. He never made any compromise with anybody regarding Shuddha Siddhanta, just like Prabhupada. Now, if I say that I am the only preacher, no, no preacher is there in the world, all they are useless, they went to foreign country to collect money and lead their life, it's a very great offense. You will have to get punishment for that. Life after life, infinity period. My Harikatha is not criticism. My Harikatha is not criticism, but protest because I have my commitment 
that I that I I must you know I must strike if somebody going against my Guru Bhargava. Because my identity is a dog of Guru Bhargava. Tumi to takur tomar kukur. That is the nature of dog to bark. Bhartima used to say, your Harikatha is not criticism. You are giving answer to that criticism. But some people say, he is criticism. And you saw me? You saw me one instant? I don't love my Guru Bhargava. But I cannot tolerate. If somebody going against Gauriya Mart, I cannot tolerate. I told them, in all over the world you have some Pandit in your society, you come together. I, alone, I am one side, I can say. All your Pandit, you get together, give answer to my question. I can say one side, you, no, 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 nobody need to help me. I can give answer. Because I know they are li liar. They are speaking lies. They are going to cheat the whole world. You will have to repeatedly publish all Harikatha. Harikatha means special Abhir Bhakti Rava with picture, follow. With picture of Siddhanta Swami. They must, before my death, I like to see the whole world have some identification of our Guru Bhargava. Before I leave my body, I like to see. I like to see that everybody at least know who is Guru Bhargava, what is their uh, and a contribution. What is the contribution I like to see? You can preach, this is your seva. Popat can bless you, your Gurudev can bless you from heaven. Guru Tattva is not one, uh, a sack of blood and flesh. Guru Tattva is unique Tattva. Unique Tattva, Nityananda Valaram. So he is going to bless us. So I have to do. I know you are putting your energy, I, I, I know you are giving so much energy. But still, you have to give all energy. All. Then you can come out successful. So this way, I wanted to explain so many things about Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj, but I couldn't speak anything. If Prabhupada is going to speak that Siddha Sarup Prabhu is not criticizing anybody, Siddha Sarup Prabhu is going to open the naked picture of this dirty society. Prabhupada speaking. Siddha Sarup Prabhu is not going to criticize anybody. Siddha Sarup Prabhu is going to open the naked picture of this society. What wrong in it? Because it is the Siddhanta Vijayar Prabhupada. All the cheater, all the cheater, the cheater preacher, they should be brought into light of focus. All people can know they are cheater. And they should understand Siddhanta Maharaj. They should know who is Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. They should know who is Manu Goswami Maharaj. They are not cheater. They are great exalted devotee. Because you can remember repeatedly, Prabhupada told, I am going to send such a Important devotees to foreign countries, those who are as good as me. After that, if I am going to say, Bono Maharaj is useless, Goswami Maharaj is useless, then I am going to commit offense unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada himself. Because you are going to cut the Siddhanta Vicharam. I can prove, no, like mathematics. I was a man of mathematics. I can prove like mathematics. You are going to cut the Siddhanta Vichar of a Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Like some ex Vidya Vinod, ex Vidya Vinod, I don't like to name, you know the name. He used to write so many books against Prabhupada, Gauri Amar, so many books. And our, 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 goes our, you know, uh, you know, this, you know, Vinod uh, Bihari, Ramacha, Vinod Prabhu. I mean, Keshav Goswami He used to give fitting answer. In front of Keshav Goswami answer, I can put challenge. In front of Keshav Goswami Maharaj, no father can come and stand. Even he used to give answer to Indian government. When the restriction, Indian government wanted to restriction, Indian government wanted to put some restriction against Shadus. Keshav Goswami only was Later on, I came to know Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj is the only person who protest against cow slaughter. Cow slaughter. I don't know. But finally, when that world devotee is speaking, I said, I don't know. So maybe for my father doing this, that's why son uh, interested to do it. Cow slaughter. That book also going to. Preliminary book you, uh, you under, you can. It's a very nice preliminary. A more preliminary book hai. 
I have. I give one portion to one man, you know, translation. That book. Maybe you can arrange one, uh, you know? One man who can translate or then you can do. So, Siddhanti, our, you know, Kesav Goswami used to give answer. Siddhanti, our, Sid, our, our uh, Kesav Maharaj speaking, they are sending one book to Kesav Maharaj to read. Kesav Maharaj, I can read the book after. I can read the book after. First of all, I know, want to know that Vidya Vinod, who is his guru? You see the temper, the fire. I am less interested to read this book. I can read, of course, to give answer. But first of all, I like to know who is the guru? Who is that guru of that fallen soul? Ex Vinod, I like to know. First, I like to get answer. You see the answer. This was Siddha Anak. Our Siddha Maharaj, our Kesha Maharaj used to give answer, Santo Maharaj. You can say, it is your privilege, you can say they are criticizing. They can speak to me. But one single instant, you can show me. Single instant. Thousands of Harikatha. I criticize somebody. Never. I give answer only. Under the guidance of Siddhanti Maharaj, Kesha Gusri Maharaj, Santo Gusri Maharaj, I am giving answer, fitting answer to them. If they have their digestion power, they can digest, otherwise they can keep silence have to make them sabra. Anyway, Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana Sarva Gunai Statru Shama Shate Suraha Harau Abhakta Shakuto Mahadguna Mano Rathena Sato Dhavato Vai Jasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana Sarva Gunai Statru Shama Shate Suraha Haru avakta shakuto mahadguna mano rathena sato dhavato vahi. All Siddhanta vichara viratattva. If not more, at least ten times you can hear. Someday I can put question. Any day. I have no time now. I, I can arrange one sava where I can put question. Everybody can sit, I can put question. Vaan chakal patar vasike pasin. Patitanan papana pavishna We beg kipa from. Sila Siddhanta Goswami Maharaj, that we can become fair and above board. No complication should be there. We should be very, no duplicity. <coughs> Follow, you pray, they can bless you, they are watching you. Who can hear this kind of harikatha?